hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how to take off this hair actually this lady from this background now most of the people face difficulty in taking off this minute little hair this part is easier but this part is a little tricky so today I'm going to show you how you work on this area so that it gets easier for who finds it difficult so let's begin but before that if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to get further updates on different videos and classes so let's directly get into this tutorial I select my lasso tool and I randomly make a selection to delete the background just randomly and try to go as close as possible but it doesn't matter how much close you get to And remember guys it's a hair so nobody knows uh, what is the original hair looking like you, you all know but when you're working with projects no one will know so this is the selection I've done I unlock this layer I inverse the selection and I delete the background now I go to my channels and I try to see which layer gives me the better contrast is it the blue the green or the white red sorry I feel I like to work with the red um, is it the blue I think the blue okay so let's go with the blue now if you finalized on one of the channels you make a copy of it now let's work on this one copy now I go to my levels image adjustment levels and I try to sorry I try to bring this down to something this is not giving the desired option let me see because I'm trying to even remove this hair it's working for this but here it's giving a little bit of a tricky solution so let me do one thing I delete this copy I will try the red option I make a copy of the red copy same I go to levels now let me try what is happening here I'm trying to see which is the layer that can give me a good output
yeah i'll go with this the green gives a better one the contrast is much better yeah make it 148 by 200 185 you should not the thing is not to lose a lot of hair over here we need to make sure some hair remains over here so say 189 say 190 180, 189, 187. I think this should do it. It's quite clear. When you're satisfied, you say okay. Zoom out back. Now press the control button and select this green copy layer and go to your layers. and add a quick mask but now what's happened is it's inversed it so you just put a control i to inverse the selection back now you see over here we have lost a lot of skin and other aspects of the body so that's not a problem we can get it back what you need to do is press the alt button and click on the masking icon now wherever you see the dark color that's a deleted area so take the brush tool it's better you take a sharp edge feather make it sharp and keeping the white color in the foreground brush it back whatever you want brush it back You know that the shoulder is yours and you can still you can work on it even later but for now it's better you work on it now only the more time you spend on these selections the better your output will be Remember that here also there's a little transparency of the hair, so let's just for now go with this. Once you're satisfied with it, again press the Alt key and come out of it. See, we have got the portion back. Over here we have missed something, so no problem. Press Alt key, again brush it out. And Alt and back. Now as you can see there is a lot of bluish tinge over here. It's not going to look good if you put this lady on some other background. So what we'll do now, press the control key on the keyboard and click the lady icon. Before that, if you could add a new solid color behind so that we get an idea of what we are working on. Take it behind. Great. So now, after you get the solid color, you make a new layer. Right click, clipping mask. Now we need to make changes to this layer. but So whatever changes we make now, we need to basically stamp this onto this hair. So for that I'm going to make the shade to darken and I'm going to use the stamp clone tool and make sure that the selection here is not on current and it's only on current and below. So once you're done with that, zoom into the area. Check your feather of the brush, 
what do you like it and start fine tuning it it's better you work on a feather brush don't work on a sharp edge brush Once I done, you zoom out. Now, now we need to take off this portion. So that's the easy part of it. We click the. Just zoom into it, take your lasso tool, this is the tool, the lasso tool, zoom and just make the selection. You can also do it with a quick mask option but here yeah, I am just trying to do it fast to show you there will be a lot of time spent on the tutorial. So we will just go quickly because this is the easy part of the image.
press the alt key go back to the mask mode and keeping the black in the foreground fill it deselect and alt and back same goes over here I select my lasso tool and come here We can achieve the same with the pen tool also by making a path and then a selection. Now you go back to the alt and you fill it with the black color, deselect and you come out over here and you are done. Now you can see the hair so much more minute. You can still fine tune it by going into the all section and if you want to delete something keep the brush on black and you can delete this by going in the mask mode you can fine tune it a lot more When you're done, out. So now you see, try to put any color and it should look good. Clone it out. So now you put any background image on it and it should be good. For example, say I put my 
Here you go. So guys, please practice this and with a little more fine tuning it can be even better. But this is the basic sequence and the basic technique. So if you uh, work in more detail, it will really get better. So all the best to all of you and if any questions, any comments, please feel free and ask me below. Thank you. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.